Welcome to another Cure for Conflict. I'm Bilal. There are currently around 2.2 million people incarcerated in the U.S., 10 times more than 50 years ago. In a study by the NYU School of Law, it was found out since 2000 the effect on the crime rate by increasing incarceration has been zero. Private prisons were started in the 80s at the height of the war on drugs. The government didn't know how to run so many prisons at once, so corporate America came with a proposal. They would run the prisons for the government in exchange for a profit. This was supposed to save the government and taxpayers money in the long run. However, in a study published by the New York Times in May 2011, it was found that private prisons cost as much as government prisons to run and maintain. Not really saving the taxpayers much money, are they? On top of that, it was found that private prisons give out way more infractions than regular prisons, prolonging the sentences of inmates indefinitely, allowing corporations to residually earn money and keep the prisoners in prison longer. And finally, private prisons sneak in occupancy clauses in their contracts with states, which means that states will be fined if jail cells are left empty, which causes cash-strapped states to continuously prolong the sentences of inmates in order to avoid the fine. Meaning, inmates who should have been out long ago are still in prison just because their own state government doesn't want to pay a fine. Considering that prisons don't really fix the crime rate, wouldn't increased police presence really make a difference? I don't think so. Instead of arresting people and locking them up, the funding for an increased police presence could be better used to fund programs that could help youth and people stay away from a life of crime. Prevention is a better alternative than the snake oil cure we have now. Thank you for watching today's Care for Conflict. Be sure to like our Facebook, follow our Twitter and Instagram, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you and good night.